this is Trev and welcome to my vlog. Welcome to another exciting episode. What we're going to show you this time round is metal finishing, which means removing dents from a panel so that you need to use very little filler or none at all even. And uh, I'm not going to go mad into all the different tools that I use and all the different techniques that I use. I'm trying to keep these uh, videos very basic for somebody that's just starting out. So I'm going to show you the essential basics of what to do. Hope you enjoy it guys. So the fundamentals of metal finishing or dent flipping, um, they're the essential basics really you need to know. Don't want to go too in depth in this video, just give you a bit of an overview really. So the first thing you're going to need is a tow dolly like this one or this one. This one's the same, just a bit thinner. The next thing you're going to need is a bumping file. It's called a file, but you don't use it to file anything down. The next thing you're going to need is a body file and uh, it's an adjustable body file. Uh, you can adjust it for doing compound curves or just keep it flat and uh, again you don't really use it for filing anything down. So we've got our dent here and um, what we're going to do, I could show you another principle but again I won't, just keep it straightforward, just keep it to what we're talking about flipping dents really. So I use my thicker toe dolly for this and essentially what we need to be doing is sandwiching the panel between the dolly and the bumping file and this is essentially flat and this is curved it works in the same way as a wing on aeroplane works so you've got the flat under section and the curved top section of the wing and together they produce lift. A little bit the same as an English wheel. You've got the uh, upper larger wheel and the lower wheel and you're creating lift on the panel. You're putting a crown on the panel. So what you do is you put the dolly exactly underneath the dent and you've got to use your ears as much as you've got to use your eyes. So you want to be hearing that nice metallic clicking sound not the dull third of the panel. So I'll uh, give you a bit of a demonstration. We're we'll trying to pop this dent out. So like I say, I'm going to put this underneath the dent and push up. You need to be, the more you can push up, the uh, more effective this will be. It's counterintuitive because you're hitting the panel down, but you hit it down on top of the dolly, which is bringing the panel back up again. I've got this panel strapped down to stop it from coming up. If it was attached to the vehicle it would be so much more easy to uh, demonstrate this but it's relieved half of the dent. I don't know if you can see it, I'll zoom the camera in a bit, but because this has uh, got teeth on it, this bumping file or spoon, it leaves a mark on the panel where it's come in contact with the dolly through the panel. So it's actually put these teeth marks on it. I'll carry on for a bit longer. Okay, that's pretty much taken the dent out. So what I'm doing is I'm tracking underneath. I'm moving the dolly around from side to side. Keep hitting it and I can see the tooth mark coming up on the surface of the panel. And this is telling me where I'm going. 
it's bringing up high spots as I go around. So any low spots will have any marks on at all. What I'll do is I'll remove the paint from this area and then we'll have a closer look. So with the paint removed, we got shiny metal now. If I hold my spoon up higher than the camera will go, you can see a reflection of it in the panel. And if I bring it across the dent, you may or may not be able to see that the um, panel is still dented in the reflection. So I've set my I've set my body file with a nice radius to match the radius of this panel that I'm trying to re repair. And I'll pass the file a few times over the panel. Now, as I hinted before, it's called a file. It does file material down, but that's not the point of the exercise. What we're using this tool for is to highlight imperfections in the repair. So I pass this over the material a few times. Anything that the file doesn't pick up is still low. there we can see it. This area around here is clearly dulled from the file blades and this area is still shiny in the centre because I used quite a, a fine grade tool to remove the paint off there which puts quite a nice sheen on the uh, steel. So it's dulled by the file blade. We've got this kind of horseshoe shaped dent left what I will do is I will raise this area, this horseshoe area up by bumping it with the bumping spoon and a dolly underneath as I've already explained. So here I'm trying to show you the teeth marks that the files picked up. Let's pick that up with a dolly underneath the surface of the material. The file's been beaten down on the top and it's made good contact and raised this up. And you can see the rest of the material hasn't been touched. So what I need to do now is give it another pass with a file and we'll see how much low material we've got left that we still need to bump up. I can see that there's still some low areas, so I'll repeat the procedure again.
I've passed this file over the repair about three times now. So I've dollared it up and I've passed the file over. I don't want to remove too much of the surface of the steel because the last thing we need to do is make this steel thin. We are removing very small amounts each time we pass the file, but nothing significant. So I would have said three or four passes. If you get to that stage, still feels slightly ripply, I would seriously advise to leave it there and put a decent quality filler rather than filing the steel flat. A very small skim of filler, I mean, it's going to be less than a millimetre thick. It's not going to create an issue at all, whereas filing the panel thin definitely will do. Okay, I'm as happy as I can be with this. What I'm going to finish it off with is this grinder that has been modified to take a DA disc. It's a variable speed grinder so I can turn it right down. So to start with I'm going to use an 80 grit disc and finish up with a 180 grit disc. Tried to polish the surface of the panel up to get a good reflection on it so that you can see the quality of the repair. This is only three passes with a file. As I said, I wouldn't advise too much more than that because all you're going to do is uh, take more and more material thickness off the steel. That's the last thing you want. You're much better off a little skim of filler on it if it just needs it. There may be a few little ripples in this. Um, under real close observation, but the primer coat's easily going to remove that. Well, thanks very much for watching. Hope you got something from it. I'm sure you did. In the next video, I'm going to do a video on heat shrinking. A very dark art indeed. If you master this, you'll be on top of the world. Um, yeah, very useful thing. I'm going to keep things basic again, so I'll catch you in the next video.